Greetings, my friends, and welcome back for another episode of our Empire of Rune campaign in Third Age Total War, Divide and Conquer AGO. Episode 11, if I'm not mistaken, which is already, you know, it's getting up there. We are getting up there. Now, before we start, just a quick little announcement, because... Due to popular demand, and also because I very much like doing it, I'm bringing back the writing competition. So, in case you are new to the channel or you haven't watched videos in a long time, the writing competition is a chance for you, the viewer, to write an intro for an episode of this rune campaign. And based on all your submissions, I will pick my favourite, and that entry will be granted a special rank in the Discord, in case you are a member of the Discord, which you really should be. Uh, and as well as having your submission be immortalized as an intro in this campaign. Uh, the rules are simple, there are no real rules, just don't make it too long. I try to make my intros between one minute to two minutes, so try to stick somewhere in between that. But you can do a song, you can do poetry, you can do a text, you can do a diary entry, you can do whatever the hell you want. It just needs to relate to the ongoing campaign in one way or another. But it can also be written from the perspective of, you know, a daily in general, or maybe a dwarf, or maybe the perspective of Sauron himself. Go nuts is all I can say. And you can just post your entry as a comment on YouTube, on this video, or in the Discord in the Story Hall channel. Okay, I look very much forward to reading all your submissions, it's always a lot of fun. Um, and it also kind of saves me some time, because that's one episode I don't have to write an intro for myself. So lazy me likes that as well. Anyway, last episode we got rid of King Bane, and I was very proud of my pun there, you know, the King's Bane. Uh, uh. Uh, and now we have a new king in town, namely King Brandt, who has a unit of Hearthguard, who are probably the best daily in unit. They have 7 missile attack, which is armor piercing, which is very, very high. Uh, 25 defense, 11 melee attack. I believe they use spears. Yeah, they're skilled against mans. They can also deploy sharpened stakes. They're very much the top tier uber elite unit that Dale has to offer. Um, did my merchant... No, my merchant is still alive. Thanks to um, the game crashing, pretty much. Uh, there's a Darf dealer. Good with money. Uh, merchant guild member, so he still only has one tradecraft. I hope it goes up... Because at the moment it's pretty damn pathetic. Uh, I haven't played in a little bit, so I just need to get my bearings here. We have some okay. troops. Let's see. I was moving an army in the direction of Santan. We waiting for them to attack. Then team up these guys. Take either Elanin or um, Kavran, I think it's called. Yes. I was also moving Mr. Luke Herumargos to take filter. Did I spend all my cash, yay or nay? It seems to be a yay. I'm building everywhere. Yes. Okay, can I get extra troops anywhere? I believe I already checked everything. No, I could get some... I could get a ballista. That could be pretty useful. Mr. And... Ooh, I can get lots of units here. What do we want to get? A loc... Do I want loc Larum? Do I want chariots? They're actually quite okay in terms of upkeep. And they do frighten enemy units, which is something I'm always a big fan of. So we'll get one of them. Uh, these guys also frighten. Oh, but Dragon Knights, that's an extra general then. I mean, I could use an extra general just so I can move out some of my custom generals that are currently just rotting away in some settlements. And I've spent all my money. You can go to the front line. Over yonder. Um, let's see, I could also now move Yasur out. I think we'll do that. Yeah, we're going to move Yasur out. Um, I probably need to leave behind some units to keep the peace up. Huh? 50%, that's not too bad. This will also give some happiness. So, let's see, how few units can I just chuck in there for them to be happy? Still 50? Still 50? Are you kidding me, man? Come on. Still 50? Alright, I'll just wait a turn then. Extra culture. Uh, yeah, I think we're at the end of our turn then. Don't need this. Troops at Condovan. That's still a decent enough army with the mercenaries, so I could try to push for Burmarling. Yeah, yeah, things are looking quite good. I wonder which faction will be the first to beat... Wait, did my... Did he eat my merchant again? I didn't see it happen, but judging on the position, and seeing as it was Bree's turn, I'm pretty sure he just ate my fucking merchant again. God damn it, not even the crash could save him. I mean, it was pretty shit anyway, so I don't really care too much about the loss of income. That is very marginal indeed, but... 
It's it's about the idea. It's the principle. I walked him all the way over there, and he's just like, you know what? He probably just found a hot hobbit wife, just married her, settled down, something like that. I will adopt you. You're pretty damn all right. Uh, hey, look, they're actually brothers. So that is Abdus. You can actually go to Winterian. No, wait, where are you? Where the fuck are you? I'm very confused. Was it El oh, is that Elgair? Now nah, I'm gonna send... We got Monkey. That's a very unfortunate name. And Abdus. Alright, Monkey. I know I'm saying his name wrong, I don't care. He's called Monkey now. You're gonna go to Strondost and bring Caron the Burns back in service. Let's take a peek. So yeah, the merchant got fucked. Rollins. Like that guy. Uh, should I even bother getting a new merchant? Probably should. What was it? Last right. Yeah. We'll get a new one. Karasant is ready for an upgrade. Interesting. 3.4k. That's not too bad. So once we finish the market, we'll upgrade it. Uh, anything else? Let's check the construction report. Edmahath got some farms. 3.5k. Quite respectable. So it's a town right now. Can I get extra trade? No, it needs to be upgraded for that. Ooh, that's gonna take a while. 868 out of 6k. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. So I don't think I really need anything in Enmahath. No, mm, well, I'd rather spend my money elsewhere, I think. Elgair got the stables. Great. Um, Could upgrade the port there. That's most of my money. I think I'll get the farms, because that's relatively cheap, and we'll add in some extra money. Dragon Reach got the Eastern Shrine. Perfect. That is the highest tier I can get, so culture should be, yeah, 16%. It's getting up there. Uh, I'll get some... I'll get some fountains, just for health and happiness. That's all you really need in life, isn't it? Health and happiness. Talathang, we build all we could. Don't trust King Brand. It will be an honor what a shoddy army, God. I mean, come on, man. Fucking Rob Stark. Uh, faction enhancement, let's see... And then Lorgan, Uldor, Lukan, Rukar, he got a runic saber. Cool. Plus one personal security means his bodyguard size will increase even further. He's already up to 38, which is insane seeing as it starts off with 10. That's all because of bonuses, which is quite fantastic. Alright, recruitment report. Nothing crazy. Condovan got the retrained lads. That's probably just a melee or a defense bonus. Yep. And then in Strundust, we got the runic fang legion. Oh, they lifted the Siege of Santanui. Oh, they're going for Dragon's Vengeance. This sons of bitches. Let's get some extra troops there. Hmm. So, Eldakar. The little bitch. Ha. I need to get rid of him. Hmm. <laughs> how, do we, how do we do this? I want to get Kavatha in the game. Maybe I should move that general to replace Kavatha instead. Gosh. Let's see. Suwaid. Can we pick up some, some mercenaries? Ah, oh, the AI is buying them all. Alright, I'm gonna put Captain Arg. That's a great name. Here. He's gonna deal with Eldakar. I'm gonna give him a couple of extra troops. Uh, and I'm not gonna use a general. Although I don't have Cav if I don't use a general. It's kind of a problem. Unless I move one of these Cav. I could move one of these cavalry units. He's got plenty. I'll move one Ravanian Rider unit. I'm kind of hoping, although I don't expect it to happen, uh, to get a Man of the Hour. Ah, Master Power is way too much in my favor. Oh wow, 15, 19, 6. <laughs> I mean, the other units aren't bad, but uh, not a whole lot going on there. Uh, so I don't think I'll get a man of the art. Anyway, let's clean up Eldakar and then clean up the rest of them. The Alright, I'm not a big fan of this fog. Get the fuck out of here. So we do have some new units on the field, and I use the term new quite loosely, because, you know, it's nothing crazy. We got some units from Khand. It's the tribesmen. If you want to see these lads in action, I do have a Khand campaign on the channel. Got Stepper Archers. Uh, we got some Haradri matches, which is also my general. What? Okay. <laughs> I mean, these guys always have a special place in the hearts of the channel. So we just have this kind of amalgamation of Southerlings, Easterlings, and homeless people. Um, Alright. Set up defensive formation. 
We got some fire throwers as well. If they can take down the the high paladins, that would be most appreciated. Same with the low Um Panion Riders. Fenian Riders. I keep saying it wrong. Um and these guys, they're a javelin unit, so that's not terrible. Uh yeah, sure. Let's do it. The army looks slightly larger than I expected. Thorn Patroller is not a big fan of. Samoyoto! That's... I don't know what you're saying. Someone will know. Archers! I do like the Mongolian look of these type of archers. I mean, they're a very shitty unit. They look pretty cool. Like, I don't know. I like them. Okay, definitely a bit of a range difference there. Thorn Patrollers, take them out, please. They are... Those are the mounted crossbows, in case you're wondering. They're very annoying. Very good unit, if used correctly. Uh, pro tip, this ain't it. Yeah, they're very good at taking down specific targets who have high armor. That would otherwise be very hard to take down. Uh, at least for the missile cavalry units. But they get killed rather easily by, you know, your own missiles. Ruffians. Alright. Switch targets. You can still fight on them. Alright, let's send out the Claw Legion. Claw Legioners! Just love saying that word. Um, where are my... Bombaclads? There you are. Get ready for a flank. Rovanian Riders! Alright, they're fucking off. Good. Hi Paladins! Welcome! Uh, come on! Let's get rid of that general in one fell swoop. Yeet! Nice, that wasn't in friendly fire. Well, well, a little bit, maybe. Damn. Damn, it's so effective when you got 100 of them. The other unit was down to like 40, so it was less effective, but this is... Oh, just deleted them. The paladins themselves... The general is still alive, but... Um, wait, where did I move my cavalry? I lost track of my calf. Oh, where the fuck are you going, mate? All right, get those rough ruffians. My claw legion is taking a beating. Not sure why. Here come the high paladins. That's not a bother. Uh, the enemy are badly bloodied. No routes. Thirteen percent. Step of tribesman taking a beating. Oh no! Sorry, I'm just trying to act surprised. Ah, oh, they broke. Thorn patrol is gone. They're patrolling the afterlife. Get those privateer axemen out of here. Ah, oh, the cell swords actually. That's a bit of a bigger target. Where are the high paladins? Ah, oh, look, they're all running. Little bitches. There are the High Paladins. Dragon Warriors, get them! No wonder these guys cause fear. They just blew up half the units and now we're slicing and dicing the rest of them. Ah, oh, they are so effective. It fills my heart with joy, these guys. Ah, oh, he's running! He's running! Old woman, yeah! Is that the way to the retirement home? I didn't realize that. Right. Let's go help him out. Get those cell swords out of here. They should have sold their sword to me. Alright, catch the general, Elakar. I'll make him work the brothel. I'll make him work the brothels. Can't even speak. I'm trying to shed insults and it's just not working. Not as a prostitute, just as a bartender or something silly like that. Come on, get him. Someone needs to bartend our brothels. Okay, they're running. Who's still standing? Oh, the uh, six Athala Rangers, I see. Uh, can you catch Eldakar? Why are you catching Eldakar? Oh, fuck the Dominion infantry. Oh, these guys are coming back. They're angrier, uh, uh, ang angrier than ever. I have a hard time speaking today, apparently. Cowardly enemy general has been captured nice. while running away. Yeah. Oh, Show him we are civilized men. Are we? 
Are we really? 89%. I'll take those numbers! I love how the challenge didn't even fully complete. It was just like, nope. And then I was like, yep. And there we have it. 273 for 634. Clear victory. I don't think it'll give us a man of the hour, but eh, it's worth a shot. Let's see. So we mostly lost Step Tribesman, which is completely fine. They are very much an expendable unit. Oh, right. He wasn't very valued, so. Eh. There you go. To the brothel. Okay, so now we got we got Vilter, we got Captain Liff, more like Captain Die. I think this army can take him down. Like, that's powers in the middle. Ah, he's actually got some pretty all right units. He's got only three units, but those three he has are like okay. Like the body shadows have to kill with my cav. These guys will have to shoot. These guys, eh. I don't know. I think we'll be fine, and that should open up the way to Vilter for a relatively easy grab. Let's do it. Who dares wins? We shall all find a way to an honorable victory. Okay. We do have the Loknarim. They are not just plain old dragon fire legion. They are quite a bit better. I'm a piercing at that. Right. Good in position. They do have the high ground. And the Ravari Shadows will... Yeah, they're all, I'm already in range. Yikers. That's pretty bad. They'll be fine. Let them come. Alright, we're in range. Shoot the winning infantry, please. I need to get those Avari Shadows out of there. If I have this unit charge, we could kill some Avari Shadows and perhaps the General as well. Which is uh, two birds with one stone. In Dutch, we say two flies and one smack. The enemy's general lies dead. Idiot. That wasn't even my OG plan! No, 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 Fuck you, the winning infantry. I saw that. I see right through you, buddy. Well, this is hella awkward. For them, not for me. Not really for me, no. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. Alright, Thorn Bladesman. The Thorny Bladesman. Give them another charge. Can't charge me, please. Please do so. Ah, oh, you fucking idiot. Look at that. Look at those numbers just dropping. I'm telling you, man, these Privateer Cavalry, they don't mess about. They're actually one of the better units in the game. Especially for the price. I mean, yeah, they're one of the more expensive mercenary units, but they really pay themselves back so easily. Victory is well within our grasp. In time, our foe will surely see this and lose heart. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Uh, charge your body shadows. They're having a very bad day. Ah, <laughs> uh, the puns, they don't stop coming. Fuck out of there. Right. Ah, uh, yeah, calf sandwich, baby. They broke. They actually broke. The little peasant boys. Alright. I'm not sure how the Darwinian choice works now. Have they already made that choice? Uh, I'm very unfamiliar with it. Because I did my Darwinian campaign in version 5 of DAC, and right now we're playing AGO, which is, you know, a bit of a version 4.6.5, kind of, in a way. So I'm not really sure. There we go. Burn them all, baby! Burn them all. I actually watched the um, the trailer for the new Game of Thrones spin-off show. I forgot what it was called, something with dragons, because it's about the Targaryens, right? And I was like, ah, oh, this is really damn cool. Stuff I could use for intros if it was already released. That kind of reminds me of that. Just fire and blood, baby, fire and blood. In fighting. Yeah, throw your javis. I always say, when I see this unit, they should be throwing axes. Burning them to a crisp. Well I love crisps. Yeah, you said that not too long ago. I guess the in time part hasn't really happened yet, then, huh? Alright, they're gone. Ah, uh, let the Luke nod him, take him down. Fire and blood, baby, fire and blood. 
Oh, come on, boys. You are the feistiest unit in the roster, which is a little bit surprising. There we go. 70% for 91. I'll take that. 56. Captain Liff, no more. I'm not going to ransom nine of our shadows, you crazy. Get them out of here. Alright, that should open up the road to Viltor. We have prevailed. What have they got in there? Eh, that's kind of annoying, but we can deal with that. And he's even better now. Wasn't he already maxed out? I thought he was maxed out. He's maxed out now. Very good, General. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. What are you doing, Mordor? Are you going for Kavrat? No. Ah, uh, he's got this guy. Yen. But he can't reach Lokeru Margos. What have you got? I don't care about that. Captain Arg, you're going for Kavrad. Something way, we still have enough of a garrison there. Um, no men of the hour, yeah, no surprise. Can I upgrade Dragonstone? No, I'm gonna keep checking. Alright, so he's sending a force towards Condovan, which is fine. That is absolutely fine. Can we get this army on the move? We are sword and friends. We're still stuck at 50%. I'm just going to have to be a little bit more patient. That's fine. We can actually use that time to get some extra forces. Like Ethakili. You can go there. Um, I got another fort here I could use. But I don't really need to use it. Some people have also pointed out I got a fort near Strondost. And apparently some people are triggered by the fact that it's still Dorwinian. But there you go. Now it rocks... The dragon banner, which does look pretty damn cool, so I understand where you're coming from. Alright, let's get some troops. I'll take Loke Flagrim. Uh, I'll take these Claw Legion. They're still alright. Horash, to the front lines you go, buddy. I should be using a boat, it is much quicker. Monkey! I already moved you, monkey. And then I'll move you to Karasant, actually, and then Kavatha can move out. Uh, right. Oh yeah, we do have these extra troops coming in. That was actually the OG plan, right? So we're moving to Dragon's Vengeance for now. Ah oh, yeah, the extra cavalry. That's gonna go nicely with Margos. Then we don't even need to waste too much time in, in Viltur. And that should also be the first time I'll border Dol Guldur, right? So that should also see a big increase in our trade, which is always nice. Uh, right, I think I'll save the rest of my cash. Unless there's a really good unit I can get somewhere. No. Or... I guess I could build something at Edmahath. Um, But what though? None of this really adds... I guess the Leather Tanner adds a little bit of cash. Scan... Talathang... Nothing. Dragonstone... Nothing. Hmm, Alright. Benton! Show me what you got. I'll get the guild. Dragon Reach. Why not? Uh, do I have to wait a turn? No, I already have it. So I can retrain some troops and give them the the melee weapon bonus. Which these guys should really come last. Because they're not even melee. Uh, or does it apply to rangers as well? It's a melee weapon bonus for ranged troops, okay. In the base game, I think you... or If something has a melee weapon bonus, it will never be able to be added to a ranged unit. Which is kind of annoying, because sometimes... Uh, you got like hybrid units. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We still have the biggest fleet. That's completely fine. I think that's the army with the three um, Thorn Bladesmen. So no problem there. I'll honestly just defend that. And then if they're distracted, I can make a move on Kavrad with uh, the other army. The supposed Men of the Hour army. So everything's going as planned. And at the rate we're currently going, the Winion will be the first fall. Though we still have to worry, I'll take that, about a potential, not a potential, about a very much likely doom stack. Alright, anyway, let's start by taking Viltur. Although our army is pretty much cav. I could throw some extra cav in there. <laughs> Can I get that pike unit? No. That is a real shame. <laughs> Alright, Captain Arg. You... We'll join up with this pikey boy and move towards Kavrad. This is more than enough to hold off Bjorn. 
No doubt. Um, could you get some extra Vanian Riders? Uh, I don't really see a need for that. I could shoot them in Viltor. I mean, we're gonna take Viltor, right? There's no, I'm not gonna pretend... Wait, what? Are you kidding me? 98%? Oh, you're a fucking joke, right? Alright, then I'll get Kimilzegar. It's a very out of the name name. It's a join. How unhappy are you? Quite unhappy, okay. Okay, no problem. So you move. Have to wait there. Ah, don't like waiting. Um, let's see. Anything else? Nope. Just getting bigger and better. Mr. Dunn got the Master Mason's Hall. Wonderful. Shall we just cough up the last cash for the last upgrade? If we reach 20k, we can upgrade it one final time, I imagine. Mm, yeah, let's just let's just invest now and reap the benefits later. Let's got the Trader Exchange. I'm gonna meeting hall there for later when we get a normal general. The Dragon's Vengeance has been upgraded. It now has walls. Wonderful. I didn't even notice that. Very, very good. I'll get the cheap market. Santan Wheat got a Mason Skilled House. Can't build anything there because it's under siege. Condovan got the Sanctuary. I'll get the I'll get the shrine there. King Brand is still just chilling. He's vibing, having a good time. All right, have a look in terms of culture. It is flying up there. Good, good, good. Recruitment reports. What is all this? Okay, so we got some Luke Narim and Elgair. That's quite nice. I wouldn't mind sending them. Hang on a moment. Uh, actually. Can move them to Karasant. Then Monkey can join a Karasant Legion. So yeah, we do lose some some income there. About 400. Plus, we're paying this guy's upkeep 700. That's 1.1k we're losing out on. But, I mean, Kavatha is so good though. Okay, he'll move out next turn. So we still get one turn of bigger money. Um, extra troops. So Strondos got the Runic Fire Legion and some extra guys. I'll move them towards the front line. Dragon Reach, retraining, retraining. Is that all just retraining? Okay. Yeah, that's all just a weapon melee bonus. That's alright. Can live with that. So I think if I press the end turn now, we'll probably have a siege at Santa Nui. Or maybe this guy will attack Zubin. Which is fine. We can then push towards Carverad. The thing is, they don't have more Ballastai. I thought I had two Ballastai. At some point. I guess I'm imagining things. Mm, do I not have extra Ballast? I really thought I had two at some point. Oh, they're probably here, isn't it? Yeah, we got one in Dragon Reach and one in Condovan. I was trading an extra one at Strondos. That should be finished in the next turn. Okay, perfect. That is actually wonderful. Alright. Kind of blazing through the turns here, but I don't think that's a bad thing. We are just better than all our neighbors. We're making more money, training more troops, taking settlements slowly but surely. And in the, the Dalian border regions, you know, kind of a stalemate there, but I can't really leave without culture being high enough for us to keep the peace. And if they rebel... Eh, we're further from home. Okay, they lifted the siege, but they didn't attack me. They're just kind of gathering up around my captain, just kind of, you know, being like a jock in high school, trying to steal my lunch money. Wouldn't recommend that, personally. All right, monkey's already getting married. Congratulations. If I had a ballista, I could just ignore these fools and go to Carbonat. Fortunately, I don't have a ballista. How may I serve? I think what I'll do is actually park them in Santanui. Oh, I can't. I'll park them next to Santanui. Get some reinforcements. Uh, and wait for Kavatha. And then Kavatha. Oh, I can already join up. Bloop. These guys will be a little bit later. But with Kavatha. You know. We're laughing. Alright, this guy showed up, but I don't think he's actually in reinforcement range. But let's get these very important Ravanian spearmen in there. I don't think he will actually be there. No. So we got Captain Ivor or Ivor. He's got Privateer Axeman and two Thorn Crossbows. I kill them. I take Viltur. We're laughing all the way to the bank, baby. 
Alright, what a quaint little town. It looks very... How do I put this in a nice way? Flammable. Which is something I very much like to see in my opponent's towns. Got the Dragon Wrath Cataphract. I think that's a new unit, right? I don't think we've used those. How do they compare? 10 attack, 15 charge, 31 defense. So 10, 15, 31. 9, 10, 18. Damn! That's quite a big leap from the Loki Nazarim, who are already really good. To these guys, 15 charge, 31 defense, inspire troops, frighten enemies, skilled against mounts with an anti-cavalry as well. Hot diggity dog, these guys are good. Alright, very, very cool. Okay, cool, yeah, nice. Uh, let's get the archers uh, ready as well. I would prefer them not to hold the wall. I'm already in range, Jesus. Give him a volley. Oh, please sally out. You'd make my day. Do it. Oh, come on. You don't have the guts. Yeah, he's got the guts, baby. Uh, I'll show you your guts. I'll be hanging out before you even realize it. You guys want to see the cataphracts in action? I'd hate them to get destroyed by towers. I need to win the units completely out of the gate. Otherwise, the AI will fuck up. I really probably should be wasting any men just yet, but I mean, come on. We gotta see them in action, right? They're already pretty soft targets. Gate's closed. Yeah, it's not a perfect charge because the unit's all spread out, so they don't really know where to to go. No, pull back. These guys are AP, so they actually have a chance of taking you down, which we don't want. Orchers. It's fine. We'll get him next time. Fire away, laddies! Fire away! Nice. Oh yeah, okay. They're actually grouping up now. I think we can do a proper charge. Proper charge! Here we go! As I almost knock my glass of water over. Not good. Alright, stop fighting. Let the cataphracts deal with them. I still get questions about how I do this, like, cinematic mode. You press scroll lock on your keyboard, and it enters the cinematic mode, which I try to do as often as possible, because it looks freaking amazing. <laughs> it was quite effective, not as effective as I had thought, but then again, my expectations were sky high. No, we lost the horsey! Alright, just making sure they don't get cold. That unit's gone. That <laughs> was pretty predictable. Alright. Oi, oi, oi. No, 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 no. Don't let him get back. Bloop. Alright. Now, we're gonna go shoot them. They're quite annoying. Crossbows, AP. They'll do alright against the Loknadim, but... Are we not in range? Are we not in range? Nope, we're not in range. <sighs> I thought we'd be in range. I bet it's really close. Yeah, we are up to range here. And then the arrow turns red right there. Ah, so fucking close. So we can fire all the way to the banners. Okay, that's actually still a bit. This guy's trying to figure out how a crossbow actually works. Can't say I've fired a crossbow in my life. I've fired regular bows, but not crossbows. Alright, ram it down. Four percent. Back in the previous version of AGO, it was like two percent a pop. It took forever. So that's, I'm kind of happy that was changed. It was a little bit too, too slow. Has done its work, and now is the time to fight. All right. We have taken the walls. It is time we All right, now he's moving. You should be in range. There we go. It's not a perfect angle. I'll take it. But they're not even fighting back, it seems. Okay, I'm waiting around the corner so they don't have a clear shot on me. 
I'm sending these guys in melee. What are they doing? They're trying to go into melee with me? Poor fools. Completely clueless. It's really the battle of... Oh, you guys are facing the wrong way, buddy. There we go. With a little help, pointing them in the right direction. I'm not sure why I put you in shield wall, that was an accident. Okay. Let's send in the Loki Nazarim. Do they cause fear? No, they don't. Okay, then that's not sending the Loki Nazarim, it's sending the Cataphracts. Toot toot! It's the Cataphracts! Here to cause fear, and it's working out! It's working out! Route them as well. There we go. Herd of goats. Hell yeah. 44. Did we heal back our uh, cataphracts? We healed one of them, so we only lost one guy. I'll take that. Dead. And another settlement we can add to our collection. Yes. Uh, I'll actually occupy it, because I think we've got another army moving towards Carverad, so we don't need this army to move out anytime soon. So I'd rather kind of expand the settlement a little bit. Um, I've got some roads. That's going to be the first thing I want to build. Just to really get that trade with Dolgulur. Let's see. Loga, Thorthalu. I think those are two Dolgulur settlements. Osteniri, that's Mordor town. Dragon Vengeance, that's ours, of course. Alright, so you're going to chill. I can't even go after you because Gabatha's blocking the path. Okay, let's see. Faction announcements. Nothing special there. Construction reports. Mataram got a pneumatic gathering ground, so we can get some Kandish and Haradrim units. Perfect. Uh, nothing else I really need at the moment, so we'll just wait. And Mahath got a leather tanner, Lest got a meeting hall, Karasan got a market. So let's upgrade Karasan. I'll also make the people a bit happier. Do I need anything else? Not really. Let's check the construction, uh, the recruitment report. Strandos got the ballista, okay. So, you lads move out. Let's see, Elgair got Claw Legion. I'll actually send them north. North! Uh, Dragon Reed is all retraining. Okay, nothing too crazy then. Wooden Drum and Breedland. Congratulations, monkey. Alright, perfect stuff. And then these guys, yeah, I want to retrain them. They're actually pretty experienced. Okay. We'll have to wait a little bit for that. Chariots are being trained. These guys only two more turns. I can't wait to choose to not to choose them, to use them. They are the other cast chosen, but Alright, I'm thinking one or two more turns there. Perfect. Please attack me at Condovan. We could have so much fun. Just keeping an eye here. Okay. Right, I think I'm at the end of my turn then. Don't think there's anything else I want to be doing. Ooh, I could fully retrain them. I think I'll do that actually, because they're such a good cost-effective unit. So next turn, Kavatha will move out, take down Bjarne and Freud. I'll actually wait for the reinforcements, because then we have a Ballista. we got a very powerful army then. And then we can take Kavrat without any problems. Raise it to the ground and immediately push for Ilanan as well. At that point... I don't know how many settlements are winning has enough. Okay, they got one more here. Leofrig is bowing. So if I take the next settlement, they'll get their doom stack. Okay, okay. No, I'm good. I'm living for it. Alright, let's press the end turn then. I always think I'm forgetting something, but... Ah well. Even if I am, it's probably nothing too important. Look at that. <laughs> They're so angry, I love it. They're just trying to muster whatever farmers and peasants they can scramble and it's it's just sad really it's kind of pathetic they think they can stop the dragon Pfft. you're gonna need a bigger boat mate you're gonna need a much bigger boat please don't attack me calmed because i i typically forget i'm at war with you but i i am at war with you so all right uh i'm gonna move i can barely see I want to move you right next to Santa Rui. Because there you can still attack Bjarne and you can actually get these reinforcements in. Bloop. Then we've got four more slots. Three units, perfect. So we have a pretty big army. 
And it's Mr. Kapitha, who is actually, if based on your comments and based on what I remember from your comments, kind of the, the fan favorite. Oh, there was a general hidden there. Uh, kind of a fan favorite, probably because of the intro he uh, he received. So he's very much lo oh, poor guys, literal levies. Captain Holward, he's got Athal Rangers. Okay, all right, let's do this. Uh, let's save just in case. I'll even save it on crash, and let's kill them. That's a lot of excitement there. I'm very excited. My chair is very excited. What are we waiting for? Uh, Kavatha, out of retirement. I bet that's going to please so many people. Alright, what have you got for me? A bunch of shitty arches. And some really good arches, the Loknari, which I will put on the front line. Because they're massive range. What is that range? 190 compared to... to 200? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I, mean, I guess it kind of does. From a gameplay perspective, it doesn't make sense because you'd expect a better archer unit, especially that's also looks like a lot of a more of a ranger unit. Um, but seeing as their armors are armor piercing, sorry, their arrows are armor piercing, I guess it makes sense that they use a, a heavier arrow, which would in turn have less range. So, if you look at it from that perspective, then it does make a whole lot of sense all of a sudden. All right, um, let's see, like that. Boop. Uh, you guys form the flank alongside you, and then we got some cavalry. We of course have the ballista as well, which I'm. Eh, I guess I can put it here. And Kavitha himself is going to do a lot of heavy lifting. The they bring reinforcements. Okay, the Athala Rangers are coming from so far away. What does it matter? Plop. Thornbladesman, Thornbladesman, my oh my, more Thornbladesman! Poor lads. Not having the best of times. Look at these dragon bodies. Sneaky motherfuckers. That's Kavitha and the Chads. Uh, imagine if he had Cataphracts instead. Oof. I mean, he's already plenty OP, so. Guess I shouldn't be complaining. Alright, look now at him. If you can hit the paladins, please do so. Your armor piercing will be very much appreciated. Oh, put that on fire mode, why not? That's one thing I really like about the Empire of Rune campaign. Because Rune is all about, you know, fire and this and that. But then when you play the regular DAC campaign, you have the Lok Narim and the Chariots, and I think they're the only units that really use fire. Oh, and the Udesh Marines, but they're kind of meh. They're not very good. Whereas here you have so many more units that are just fire themed and it makes sense and it feels strong and actually useful instead of just you know a gimmick or literally just a visual difference but no real gameplay difference. But here you know the fire it causes fear and ah, it's, it's just powerful. It's just cool. That said, this is still very much sub mod territory. I mean, the Empire of Rudin. The campaign from a from a story perspective is a lot different than what it is in Vanilla Dark. So I'm not saying they should replace it just like that. But maybe they can you know, take some of the units. I do think regular AGO without the submod does use the um, the units that uh, Baking Bread or Arctis made. The more muted bronze instead of the flashy gold. Fuck you, Thornbladesman. Half the enemy force remains. Uh, actually, no, 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 don't, don't throw your bombs. That is not that much friendly fire, actually. I was expecting a whole lot more friendly fire, I can tell you that much. Alright, Arch, stop fighting. We've kind of gotten rid of the main force, which is very much pathetic. If you want to throw your bombs on them, I'll allow it. Not that it's necessary, really. Poor guys. I do really feel for them. And with really, I mean a little bit. Slightly. Okay, maybe don't throw the bombs. Too late. Look at that! Hit point accuracy. They don't even break a sweat. 
Yeah! He's running away from archers! And here I thought I needed the cavalry. Alright, ballista crew, you can deploy on the ballista once more. Go camp him! Get back in line! Not that I need to do this, I can just have Kavitha clean up the reinforcement armies. Alright, um... Someone hunt down that man. I want his head on a pike! They run like children. Scour them from the field. Perfect. Like the vineyard units? Like really? They're not gonna stop some Loki Nazrim, I mean... It's cute and all, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm digging it, but... It's a little bit sad at the same time. Seems more an ostrich! Let him sit and watch how true lions fight! Lions, dragons... Awesome animals all around. Ah, they retreated on the last moment, making my ch charge just a little bit... You know what, I'm gonna kill the Athala Rangers first, because you guys are small beans. I mean, I can have you run in against my infantry and it'll be fine. But the Athala Rangers would do some damage, right, so... Go ahead, go to the main force. They'll welcome you with open arms. Charge them, lads! Charge them! They're desperately trying to get some arrows out. Eh, they're getting some hits in. They're getting some kills, but we don't care. We don't care. Nice. Archers always brace, like, decently alright. Which is a bit surprising. Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Oh, they will. Don't worry about that. Anyway, ostrich boys. Maybe the reason I know the voice line so well is because there's not a whole lot of variation with it. Really, it's just the same like ten lines all the friggin' time. All right, take him down, boys. Very tired, very tired. You men don't get tired. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Not sure if that was an effective charge. Okay, that was a very effective charge. Never mind. I ain't complaining. Alright, the vineyard levies, they are spear boys, so you'd expect them to do well against calf, but then they just don't, because they're that weak. What are their stats? 2-7, like the defense is alright, but the attack 2... You're not going to kill a noble looking as a rim with an attack stat of 2. Get the hell out of here. Fuck your archer boys. Alright, let's pull back. Cycle charge. It's not really fired and forget. Turn around. Fuck them up. Probably doing some friendly fire. That's okay. Yikes! Might as well already give Vilter to me. Or Kavra. What was it? Kavra. We already have Vilter. Might as well give that one to us as well. <laughs> Alright. Uh, did we kill enough? Doesn't really matter. Let them retreat if they want. Is ours. Oh, we definitely killed enough. <laughs> well nice. Our name is so friggin' long, the entire screen is to adapt to it. I love it. 426, Jesus. Alright, execute them. Please, my lord. Hmm. Nah. You can't say I didn't take him into consideration. I did listen. I didn't really care much for it. Oh, look, they all fell into the snow. Snow Angel! They sure have. Alright, let's march towards Carbonad. I can wait one more turn. I'm a patient man when I have to be. Alright. Have I checked all that? No, I haven't. Ruba Roads! Look at that money. That's actually pretty alright. Nothing I really want, though. Dragon's Vengeance, got the Green Exchange. How good are the mines? They're pretty god-awful, so let's get the trading post. 
When Teddy and Rao got the port. Nice. Look at that. The tree network. It's growing. Let's get a Master Mason's Hall. I love seeing that. Master Mason's Hall. Public Fountains and Dragon Reach will keep the people a little bit happy. Let's get a Water at all for the same purpose. One more turn, baby. Alright, can you move out with your army yet? The Asur can't. Where does he keep pulling the jokes from? How bad is it? 50% still. Doesn't matter. It's always 50%. You fucking liar. Why does the game lie to me? Game! Arr, how many units do you need to always stay at 50 fucking percent? I'm better off. What the fuck? I guess Garrison doesn't really do anything. It's supposed to do lots. And uh, yes, sir, you'll have to stay there a little bit longer. I mean, I couldn't move out of Condoban. There's nothing really stopping me from just killing that guy, you know. Nah, I'm not doing it for the sake of the episode, because now I can press the end turn and then I can move towards Carverad and I can take two settlements in one episode. Otherwise, I'll have to end after this battle, because the, uh, the episode will already be way too long. A merchant at last. Alright, I'm going to send you towards these mines. If you get fucked, then at least I lo Oh, you're already much better. And in one turn, so I imagine we'll use them in the next episode, we'll have these new guys, the cast chosen. I'll just let you sneak peek at the picture. Can't wait to put them in action. Alright. Recruitment report. Anything? No recruitment report? Nothing? Population number three, baby. Um, Actually, I got some units. I'm going to move them north, meet up at Winterian, stack up against Dale. I feel like I have enough to deal with um, Darwinian, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Whereas with Dale and Edibor, I could do with some extra forces. Mainly these AP guys, actually. They're actually quite good. Alright. That's all she wrote, eh? Mm, I'll let you chill there. Okay, in turn, nothing crazy happens. I take Harvard, we're all smiling. We're all having good times. Is that what will happen? Okay, he's pulling some reinforcements in. Good, good, I like that. Make it a bit more difficult on me. And then we trigger a doom stack, I think. I haven't done a toggle fog of war in a while. I haven't earned it. Um, maybe I'll do one once we kill, like, Brand or something. We'll see. But uh, I do think that will put Darwin in below three settlements and trigger their doom stack, which frightens me a little bit. If they have lots of Moriquendi units, then yikes. Right, let's just check this. Strondor's got the mining network. Ooh, we're looking wealthy, boys. I'll take that port upgrade. Elgair, I'll take that ship. Right, let's just upgrade all the ports. Fuck it, let's go big money. But Manarikas don't really care about any of that. There was Santan We, which I've started to build something. Ooh, retrain. And there we go. Money spent. We got Captain Bladder Thin. I guess his bladder is quite thin. Got pretty shitty units. Kavrad. We got Freuther. Lone Crossbows. The Winning Infantry. Ballista and the Winning Infantry. Doesn't seem like such a bad deal. Even the Bounce of Power agrees. 4 to 1. What a siege battle. I will take that. Let's go, boys. Let's burn it down. Alright. Is that fog? I don't like fog. There we go. I want to see what I'm marching, goddammit. Um, hmm, I don't like this angle. I prefer this angle. Because you got 1, 2, 3 towers that are effective. Well, see, you got 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, even. I guess four here if I can that one there as well. So let's go from this side. Let's put our units far away enough. We do have the Fire Legion boys who have 200 meter range. So perhaps they can force the enemy's hand. Uh, infantry, bloop. And then cavalry. 
chill over there. Look, our archers are. What the fuck? Are you hugging the gate for? Uh, where are you fighting at? Are they going to stick next to the gate? Because that's kind of annoying. My archers are going to try to shoot them, which is not going to hit anything. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty pathetic. Oh, they hit one guy. Which actually makes them push out of the safe zone. Oh, please do. I can't use my ballista like that, though. I'm going to give the AI a couple moments just to regroup. And maybe they'll, they'll actually do something. If they keep the gate open, I can't destroy it. That's actually a brilliant strategy. I can't imagine I never thought of that. You can't destroy if it's if it's open, you know? And then if my troops get too close, we close it again. And then when they move away again, we, we open it again. Genius! How has no, no one ever thought of that? But I will rush in a unit just to see if I can catch them with their pan stand. This is my favorite time to catch someone. Okay, don't close it, don't close it, don't close it. Ah, you fucking sneaky sons of bitches! And the towers destroy my unit. That is so genius. I might actually use that against the AI at some point. <laughs> that is a genius strategy. Now I'm just going to have to fire it with the ballista from pretty far away, which is less than ideal. Are you hitting? Okay, you're hitting. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see. These shots aren't hitting. Okay, wait. If they come into position... Like, the AI is actually smart, like, hugging the wall and shit. I've never seen the AI be smart. It kind of scares me. It seems totally on purpose as well. The fuck are they doing over there? It's kind of making me nauseous. Ballista's running out of ammo. Those are all hitting, right? Yeah, they're all hitting. Come on. Break. Please. Oh, good. Alright, can I just say the AI is being incredibly annoying with these two units? Because they're very tanky. It's going to be freaking hard to get through them. I think my pikes actually have the best shot. I know that sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but I really do think so. They're also the fastest unit. But like, I feel like the AI is just bugging out, but in doing so, nice shots, they're actually being incredibly more difficult to kill. Oh, 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 ballista up! Oh my! You didn't see that. Ooh, you didn't see that! Oh, that's gonna go to the comment section. Oh, yikes. Ah oh, well. <laughs> like now they're just hugging the gate, which is incredibly annoying. Making them incredibly hard to kill. Urgh. I think my best strategy is to pump in as many units as I can. Possibly even use shield walls to push them away. I know it sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but it really is. Ah, oh, they got crossbows here! It's the most capable AI I've ever seen! They're actually doing smart things. Just frightening me. Okay, we got them on the ropes. Will it be enough though? Get the local item in there. That armor piercing will be useful. That's the general who is out of position. And now he's- I hate it when the AI goes on the walls because they're impossible to get off them. Ooh, this is the reason why I don't like siege battles sometimes. We're still looking alright in terms of percentages, but it's just the towers. The towers are just decimating our men. The enemy's general lies dead. That's good. That might force them at all. Like, these guys aren't even fighting. That's the thing. They're not even fighting. They're just kind of... Walking back and forth. 
I do like that armor upgrades, it always looked that cool. Never saw them with that plate. Like, they're, they're just kind of running through my units, just weird shit all around. Okay, but they're completely surrounded. These guys are getting fucked. <sighs> the crossbows, though, are very, very good. Could try a volley on them, who knows. I'm grabbing and losing the gate. Okay, make him break. Please make him break. I could try to lob some bombs on them, which might or might not work. Let's see, it's worth a shot. We've already done that friendly fire debacle, so might as well add some insult to injury. Hello! I don't care about a little bit of friendly fire. Come on. There we go. See, that actually made them break. Perfect. Oh, they still got some high paladins. Wow. They are a little bit stronger and smarter than their general was. That really is just those crossbows now that are just costing me so many lives. No, 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 get them away from the gate. Okay, they broke. They broke as well. Run to the town square. Just get all the infantry on the town square. Ignore the crossbows. Kavitha, don't die. Those are winning infantry are pretty good against Cav. Let's let the men deal with them. Then those crossbows should be smart or dumb, depending on your perspective enough, to actually run to the town square. I'm not going to fight them near the wall. I'll wait 40 minutes if I have to. Just please tell me these guys are going to do something. I would lose way too many men fighting them there. Unless I can get them to rout. That could work. Hang on a second. Could these guys chuck their firebombs through here? Let's see. That would be perfect if they can. Yeah, they somehow can. Yeah, nice. Fuck you! Fuck you, Thorn Crossbows! Damn, this was a gruesome fight. And I kinda enjoy the panic. Quick decision making. How are you getting shot? Oh, friendly, you're friendly fighting like crazy. No, wait, who's... Oh, that's a ballista! My god, am I blind? No one's putting a... Why is no one doing anything? I lost so many dragon warriors because of that. Oh, that is a pile of bullshit. <laughs> wow! I was like, what? How are they dying? Fire? My fire? Oh, the winning. Oh, that could have gone really bad. I can't even charge them because there's like four guys on the wall, which means the entire unit's on the wall as far as the game cares. So I'll just have to nudge against them and hopefully that does something. I, I can't even chase them because there's still guys running on the wall. And I did trigger the towers. Ah, oh, such bullshit. See, my guys can't act as... Oh, they can't fight them. Because they're, like, on the wall. Which they really aren't. Okay, they're coming down now. Fucking finally, man. I'm gonna send in my Dragon Warriors just to kill them as quickly as possible. Fight them. Come on, fight! The game just spazzes out with walls. Like, they just can't handle it. Break! Why are you fighting to the last man? Fuck you! Fuck the win in! That was way too hard. Way harder than it had to be. Oh, I played that so badly. Oh well, you can't perfect them all, right? Oh, Jesus. Nice. We have carved out a piece of Carverad for ourselves. And just like that, our realm is looking quite a bit thicker. I will sack it because I don't want to deal with public order and all that bullshit. Uh, right, let's get some, some culture in there. And that is going to be the end of this episode. So, did I get Dragon Knights or... Oh, I got a General. Okay, good. 
because I want to move you towards Strindust. You can take over command from Mr. Caron, and then Caron can bring Cars Chosen, Caron's Chosen, if you please, to the front line. We're going to do some, some heavy damage. But that will have to wait for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Today we took Viltur, which let's get some fucking vision. Bloop. There we go. So we now, oh, that's Mordor as well. Yeah, Mordor is big. Um, you know what? I've deserved a fucking talk of fog of war. Let's fucking go. So the Winion has. Oh, they still have three settlements. They got Elanen, Rawberg, and Bursouthus. So they still have three settlements. The gold is cooking quite thick. I'm not going to look at Dale nor Erebor. Because that would be. I mean, even looking at the Winion was a bit cheaty. But uh, we want to be a bit of a surprise there. Let's take a peek at the gold. They've been doing quite well. The Anduin Vale is down to their last couple settlements. Just getting eaten up from both the Orcs of Gundabad, the Commons of Moria, and Dol Guldur, so quite, quite cool there. I always think Gondor is doing incredibly well when I see the uh, the faction overviews, but they're holding off against Mordor quite all right. But they're getting eaten up by Harad over there. Dol Amroth hasn't really done much. I mean, they still hold Tiridoro, so it's kind of a surprise they lost Linhir like that. Uh, but Khan has been doing incredible stuff. My god, the blue wizard really have turned this this ship around. They've seized so much land from Harad. That is very surprising. But if you see here, like, just Mordor and us, we're just big chungus. No one's gonna deal with us. Alright, over here, Bree's suffering quite a bit from Dunland. And in the north, Angmar seems to be reigning supreme for now. The northern Dunedain still holding a decent amount of settlements, but they typically don't expand all that much. In fact, it's not often that I see AI Northern Dunedain hold Ostgalon. So there we go. Uh, Mythlon still there. Buzaradum in the hands of the dwarves. It's quite a surprise. They also hold Corwillishore. That's also quite a surprise. Normally the dwarves stay in the north. But now they've been traveling a bit south. And Rohan. Oof. I mean, typically at turn 61, Rohan's <laughs> already gone. But the rate it's going right now, it's not a big difference between where they're at right now and being entirely gone. For some reason they're sending their last big, I, I assume, Doomstack to deal with some random Isengard general near Kalanhad, which is probably not the location you want to put your armies, but hey. Uh, if we take a look at Khazad Doom, is in the hands of Lothlorien, and Khazad Doom West in the hands of Moria. So the real Khazad Doom, the faction, only holds Erui. Which means they're about to lose their last settlement and go Horde again. I've never seen AI Lothlorien hold on to Khazad Doom. That's a big surprise, but will no doubt be a big boon for their economy now that Karaz Galathon is in the hands of the Guldur. Anyway, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. As I said, keep your eyes peeled for the writing competition. I very much look forward to your submissions. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you soon for episode number 12.